Alrighty. I'm just out here right now getting some sunlight. Going for a bike ride. Um, you know, people ask me what bike I like to ride. I've had, you know, what types of bikes. Wow. First line, I already messed it up. People ask me often what I like to ride in terms of a bike. You know, right now I have a mountain bike, but uh, essentially I do prefer road bikes. I've had specialized tarmacs, um, specialized rubais, all carbon fiber bicycles, beautiful bikes. Um, they are, however, very expensive, and I sold them years ago. But right now I have a uh, Voodoo Erzuli mountain bike. Um, it's rather janky right now. The gears are messed up and the derailleurs. Uh, not working properly but you know I do get an, a very good workout on this bike due to the fact that it's very heavy and uh, it's kind of clunky and it just it takes a lot more effort to get this bike up a big hill than it does a very slim carbon fiber lightweight road bike but you know I do give this bike a 10 out of 10 I love it uh, it's worth more than hundred dollars I bought it for my dad back in the day for a hundred bucks so it gets the job done um, and again, man, a lot, a lot of people think they don't have money to buy these. Uh, a lot of people want these expensive road bikes and all this other stuff. Just get something to ride, man. That's what it's all about. Stop procrastinating and get out there today and get some sunlight. Um, cycling, in my opinion, is the greatest way, the funnest way, essentially, to increase the amount of circulation in your body and uh, to get some natural endorphins moving throughout your physiology. That is the feel-good chemical that is released from prolonged exercise it is a natural way to get high and uh, you know I love biking I've been into biking for years now I lost most of my weight cycling I went from 280 at my heaviest and now I range between 170 and 180 and uh, if I fast if I really get cleansing and uh, adhere to a very very clean diet I even dip down into the 160s so I'm happy with my weight right now I haven't been exercising as much as I should, but uh, I am getting back into it. Um, the summer heat is beginning to dwindle a little bit and soon we'll be in the winter months. And uh, I do have an exercise bike, a stationary bike at home uh, that I found for free on the side of the road, a pre-core exercise bike. Um, so, you know, it, it's essential that you get out or that you get exercise in the colder months. Um, it's not as easy to get out and uh, it's not as fun essentially because it's colder and the sun isn't out but uh, winter you really want to take advantage of uh, the time that you spend indoors during winter and in the colder months and uh, get some circulation going. Resistance training is great for that. However, I, I really do enjoy cardio. I like getting my heart rate up and uh, biking is great. In, even in the winter months I like doing uh, the stationary bike because I can get my headphones on put on my favorite music or uh, what I lo really love to do is get on the stationary bike um, and watch documentaries or uh, listen to lectures, health lectures, stuff on colon cleansing, stuff on kundalini, you name it. So it's Memorial Day Monday, there's no one here right now. This is where I run my dog and this is one of the power spots that I like to come to and walk barefoot on the earth. However, I am going to resort to uh, wearing my sandals right now because I've been stung here by bees a handful of times this last couple weeks and uh, I really don't need any more bee stings. But yeah, I used to come out here with my fluids. I'd come out here and uh, do a little bit of uh, visualization techniques with the sun and incorporate that with my fasts. I'd put my fluids on the ground and I'd ground my uh, mason jars and the blue-green algae tea that I consume and the uh, hibiscus, you name it. Um, and I'd also come out here and put a uh, a towel down and clean my skin with the Dr. Kassar skin cleaning solutions and uh, just really soak up some sunlight. I also like doing the uh, sun gazing um, protocol, the one where you look up at the, sky, at the sun with your eyelids over your eyes and just uh, allow the sun to penetrate into your eyes through your shutters, your eyelids. Um, I do not recommend sun gazing at high noon. You can do a lot of damage to your vision if you're not ready for that. And I don't do it. I do sun gaze, however, when the sun comes up and when it goes down. Preferably when it goes down, because usually I'm not up that early. But uh, again, it's a beautiful day out in here in nature. It feels good to, to get away from the house and the electronics. And uh, 
you know, I even like grounding myself over on the, uh, the dirt over there. Dirt, when you ground yourself on dirt, it has a different effect on your body than when you ground yourself on uh, greenery like grass and all these little weeds growing. I prefer both of them. Um, I like changing it up. So there's some squirrels jumping around in this tree. This is the middle school that I went to when I was a youngster. Um, there's a creek running right here that I used to catch crawdads in and fish in and some beautiful trees. And uh, when I was first getting into herbalism and naturalism, um, you know, I'd get out here and consume my teas away from the house, away from people, and really soak in the experience of consuming these herbs because herbs do affect the consciousness. And uh, I really liked being isolated when I was experimenting with new herbs such as gynostemma, goji berry, you name it. Goji berry is actually a fruit, but, uh, you know, it's classified, it, it's in herbal literature and in herbal herbalism books um, just to keep things simple in the same way that cayenne pepper is and cisandra berry you name it and herbalism is so fascinating to me not a day goes by that i don't obsess over it and think about it for hours i'm just dangerously obsessed with alternative healing and naturalism and herbalism man it, it's fun to take the role as your own physician and attempt to heal yourself and to augment your lifestyle and your consciousness by consuming the natural elements that uh, the earth grows for us. And you may be thinking, ah, oh, you know, naturalism, herbalism, that's never worked for anyone, this and that. But you have to remember that most of the medications on the market that are pharmaceuticals are actually derivatives, extracts and different isolates from natural compounds such as certain barks, leaves, extracts, you name it. Herbs, flowers, all of that. So, yeah, I like the simple philosophy of going to the source instead of, you know, extracting certain compounds out of herbs, you name it, isolating them and binding them with binding agents to make a pill. I prefer just going to the, the, the source and consuming the herb or the bark, you name it. Um, so yeah. A brief little video i'm gonna get a little bit more sunlight here and then i'm gonna bike probably for another 30 minutes i've already been out for about 20 minutes uh, i'm not really feeling like doing too much of a strenuous workout today i like uh, trying to get one really intense workout in a week and then doing uh like four days later getting on the bike again and then doing kind of just a uh a ride around town where i get sunlight and get my heart rate up um not too high um I find that this helps my body recover much better from intense workouts uh, instead of just like pushing your body to the limits like I used to. I used to do so much strenuous uh, exercise. I did P90X. I burnt myself out. I did so many different resistance training programs. And uh, although I did develop a ton of muscle, I had a very lean physique. Um, I was very muscular. I did uh, burn myself out and I did lose a lot of my energy. So. You know, exercise is great, but recovery is really the key to exercise. Recovery is essential. Getting good sleep, um, neutrifying yourself, you know, because when you do work out, intense, when you do intense workouts, you do deplete your body of vital minerals uh, and constituents and fluids, essentially. You're sweating out all these fluids. That's another great reason why, uh, you know, cardio is so great and getting your heart rate up and getting on a bike and going up some hills, it's gonna help you sweat. Sweat is one of the greatest ways to remove poisons from your system. And not only that, the uh, acceleration of your heart rate is gonna help with your circulation and push things um, through the system that are blocking. Or it's gonna help you move blockages in your system from the increase of circulation due to your heart rate accelerating. So, <laughs> Let's wrap this one up on behalf of the Sacred Starseed Serpent Uraeus YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video can help inspire you to go out and do something today for your health. Take advantage of your free time. Get a bicycle. If you look close enough, you know, you can even find good quality road bikes at uh, Goodwill. When there's a will, there's a way. And uh, just do it. Peace.